10. It's just too many unnecessary deaths, and it, and it shouldn't be that way. A mother tonight speaks out about the dangers of ATVs after an accident claims the life of her son. Plus, the project that's underway to help save pieces of coast history. Also tonight, Ship Island excursion boats make their inaugural voyages this weekend, and boat captains are pretty confident they can double last year's passenger totals. That's all coming up next tonight on WLOX News at 6 for Thursday. After serving the Gulf Coast for 30 years, Crown Dodge has transformed into the new Crown Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Pascagoula. Hey, help us celebrate our 30th anniversary. Come by and see our brand new, bigger and better five-star facility here in Pascagoula. We have special sale prices on everything in stock and, of course, the best selection on the coast of new and pre-owned vehicles. Visit our website at crown247.com and see all our 30th anniversary sale prices. Come see the all-new Crown Dodge Chrysler Jeep right behind the Singing River Hospital in Pascagoula. At J, J Furniture, this Friday, Saturday, and Monday, some of what you see may be free. Excuse me, did you say free? I said free. How's it free? It's a 20% bonus sale. If you spend $2,500, you get $500 more in free furniture. So the more I buy, the more I get free. Don't you catch on quick. Dining room, living room, bedroom, even leather and accessories. But do I still get 12 months interest free? How about 14? Wow, that's a lot of free. Friday, Saturday, and Monday only, some of what you see may be free. Only at J&J &J Furniture. Where it all comes together. Keep up to date with what's happening in South Mississippi. See the latest news, sports, and weather at your convenience. Visit WLOX.com and make it your home page. Now, the news for South Mississippi. WLOX News at 6. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Lawson. Rebecca has this Thursday night off. The name of a young social man has been added to the growing list of tragic South Mississippi accidents in which ATVs killed young people. 18-year-old Christopher Peterman died Saturday when the four-wheeler he was driving flipped over and landed on top of him. It is a tragedy so senseless and avoidable that Chris's mother is already calling out to other parents to tell their children take safety precautions when riding ATVs. Don Culpepper with more tonight on our top story. Christopher Evan Boyd Peterman was a young man who knew how to make people smile. Yeah, he was funny. Um, he was funny. I mean, he was, he was just so full of life. His mother, Seal Boyd, says like most 18-year-olds, he always had fun in the present and grand plans for the future. He talked about going in the Coast Guard so he could always be around water. He loved water. He talked about going to college. He loved Mississippi State. But it was another love, the love of riding four-wheelers with his friends in this rural South Mississippi neighborhood that cost Christopher Peterman his life. He had so much confidence that he probably thought that that would be the, the coolest jump, you know, and he would be perfectly fine. Instead, the ATV went airborne, throwing Christopher and his passenger. The ATV landed on top of Christopher. It was instant, and um, which I'm... I thank God for that. Christopher wasn't wearing a helmet and died of massive head injuries. That was my baby boy. As difficult as it is to talk about, just two days after burying her son, Seal Boyd says she has to for the sake of others. There's just too many unnecessary deaths, and it, and it shouldn't be that way. Wear a helmet. Wear your safety gear. Seal doesn't want people to park their ATVs. In fact, she expects kids will be right back riding that same trail that killed her son. She just hopes they'll remember her words of warning and stay safe for Christopher's sake. He was, you know, out there riding. He goes, yeah, my life is almost perfect. You know, told one of his best friends, and so I suppose it's perfect now. In Harrison County, Don Culpepper, WLOX News. Now, the passenger riding with Christopher was not seriously injured. Seal added that another danger is people riding those ATVs with more than one passenger. We turn to Jackson now for the latest on the judicial bribery trial. During closing arguments, defense lawyers for former judges John Whitfield and West Hill argued that federal prosecutors have failed to prove that former attorney Paul Miner bribed two former judges. They also said that the money Miner gave to the judges was a loan and not a bribe. The government argues that Miner orchestrated a scheme to bribe the two judges who awarded his clients millions in two separate civil lawsuits. Gulfport Mayor Brent War is in St. Petersburg, Florida tonight to learn more about affordable housing. He was asked to serve on a panel for a conference on that subject. This comes just days after the city of Gulfport was criticized 
by the director of the Mississippi Region 8 Housing Authority. Roy Nikes accused city leaders in Gulfport of discrimination by keeping affordable housing out of that city. Timing's quite interesting, actually. I hope to learn some things that I can bring back, help maybe come up with some good resolutions for our project. Mayor War also says he hopes Gulfport can serve as a national model when it comes to high-quality, affordable housing. Katrina destroyed so many of our historic homes and left many others in terrible shape. Well, now a Mississippi contractor is helping the coast to save some of that history. Ellen Ramsey's crews are simultaneously restoring two past Christian beachfront homes, both of which were built back in the 1800s. Danielle Thomas tonight with more on the big job that lies ahead. This home was built in 1870 by John Henderson, founder of Henderson Point. John Henderson built it. Katrina tore most of it down. Now, historic renovations of Yazoo wants to take this past Christian house back to its glory days. We have no blueprints to work from. We have one picture of the exterior of the home, which is a frontal shot. Uh, a couple of wedding pictures someone gave us showing a couple of interior details. But essentially, it's, uh, it's a mystery. We've got to build it by feel. Ramsey says his crews have at least a year's worth of work ahead of them. They're pouring concrete for the footings, and we'll be building piers up from those footings later. Uh, we have to strategically place them to support various parts of the house as we build it up. And we've uh, poured many of them by hand like that. It's quite an undertaking. Workers spend part of their time restoring another house that's on East Scenic Drive. The core of the home is an 1840 hand-built cottage. The timbers are hand-hewn. You can see the ax marks in them. Ramsey says restoring historic homes, it's a difficult job that takes great patience and concentration. But the end result makes everything worthwhile. The work is very fulfilling. To be able to take something and recreate it, particularly when you have so little to work from, you know, if a successful project's a very satisfying thing. In past Christian, Danielle Thomas, WLOX News. Alan Ramsey says part of the funding for the restoration work comes from the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. That same department has a grant program to help owners of historic homes damaged by Katrina to make repairs. Applications for the third and final round of funding for the program are due April the 7th. This Saturday in Gulfport, there will be free legal assistance for help with those applications. Among the things you will need to bring with you are pictures of your home and property and sources of payment for any damage repairs. You also need to bring bills and contracts and all the work that has been completed on your home so far. The owners of the Blue Rose, a building that they say is the oldest surviving home on Mississippi's beachfront, have put the historic home up for sale. Philip Lagrange and Herb Persley recently finished about a million dollars in storm renovations to the Blue Rose built back in 1848. They say that they did intend to reopen their bed and breakfast, but the jump in insurance rates was just way too much. In our case, where it's $55,000 a year to insure as a business, and I believe uh, around 30 of that is wind, uh, you know, by the time you hire your employees and you pay your taxes and your property taxes and maintenance and all the things that go with a small business, there's really no reason to be in business because all you're doing is paying taxes and insurance. And uh, if, if you're going to work for nothing, there's no reason to do it. Personally says he's concerned about small businesses being able to afford going back on the beach because of the commercial insurance rates. He does expect the Blue Rose will sell to a private or as a private home, since the price of residential insurance on the home is a lot more reasonable. Spring is in full force, warm, no rain. Here's Mike with the first forecast. And Jeff, we want to give everybody a heads up if you want to keep track of the spring weather, and that is that our channel 61 now, cable channel 61, 24 seven weather. We're moving up from 60 to 61 as of nine o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you go to channel 60, it's not there. Check out 61 and you should find us. Meanwhile, let's talk about the spring day, the spring like weather we had. 79 was our high. Remember yesterday we tied a record high of 78. Not quite today. Our record is 80. We got to 79, 64, our overnight low. No rain in the rain gauge. Take a look at the tri-state satellite radar, and we notice that we really don't have any rain out there at all. 
What about the evening forecast? Well, it's going to continue to be warm, pleasant evening. Temperatures should average about 70 degrees with just a few high clouds out there. But also, if you're going to be out and about traveling, keep in mind there should be some patchy morning fog yet again. Overnight temperatures should be in the mid to upper 50s inland, low 60s along the coast. Of course, we're wrapping up the week. We're heading into the weekend. Is there going to be any rain? I'll let you know when we return. Thanks, Mike. As Ship Island gets ready to welcome visitors again, we take a look at the successful season boat captains are at least hoping for. Plus, a peek into the possible future of Jones Park. That's coming up next tonight on WLOX News at 6 for Thursday. The next best thing to a new Honda is a certified pre-owned Honda from Pat Peck Honda. Certified with a 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty and a 150-point inspection. Shop the area's largest certified Honda selection. Think Honda. Think Pat Peck Honda Gulfport. This spring, you could be cruising around town, top down in your new VW convertible. Don't miss your chance to win in the Palace Casino Resort's groovy giveaway. Every Friday through April 13th, we'll give away a 2007 Volkswagen convertible. And starting at 7 p.m., we'll hold 10 drawings for $1,000 each in slot credits. That's four nights, four cars, $40,000. Only at the Palace Casino Resort. Get in the groove. Don't miss Lucky's huge annual clearance sale. There's no better time than now to save big on furniture, bedding, and appliances. Beautiful, fine furniture at true discounts, up to 50% all through our huge store. Whatever you need for your home, Lucky's offers a wide selection and top name brands. This sale won't last forever, so don't wait. Come to the huge clearance sale going on now at Lucky's Furniture Warehouse Showplace, East Pass Road, Biloxi. Marriage, parenting, relationships. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Meyer with Focus on the Family. Let me invite you to tune in to Good Morning Mississippi right here on WLOX each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 6 and 6.30 a.m. We'll be talking about some of the common issues that families face and offering you practical, helpful advice. Focus on the Family is brought to you by Action Printing Center, printing innovation for over 30 years. Mark Cumbust and the agents of Cumbust Realty. Foster's Air Conditioning and Heating, home of the old reliables. Tonight we have a better idea of what Jones Park could become. Gumpert Mayor Brent Ward released this sketch of the waterfront area. It shows an amphitheater surrounded by trees in the center of the park and retail shops in the northeast corner of the small craft harbor. Today at the park, inmate work crews spread piles of dirt in between some oak trees. That dirt will form the new base for any park improvements. Gumpert City Council members will hear a presentation about Jones Park redevelopment plans next Tuesday. Well, one of the possibilities under consideration, at least, is moving the Ship Island ferry boats to that northeast corner where retail shops could be built. First, though, boat operators have to make sure that area has enough turning room for their vessels. Today, Brad Cassie visited the Ship Island Excursion's current location, where boat captains were getting ready for another season at sea. Ship Island Excursions. After a year when just 19,000 passengers sailed on board a Ship Island Excursions vessel. My gut feeling it's going to be better than we thought. This Saturday, the Gulf Islander carries its first paying passengers of 2007. Despite the hurricane, our brochures are disappearing. People's making inquiries. And when they yeah. do. But the island is still pretty, you know. The ticket sales beautiful. manager Beverly Office Moran answers their questions. A lot of our repeat customers are coming back, and a lot of people that are coming into town are looking for something to do. And we're one of the few people that are open to give them something. And you're coming to the end of April? The Gulf Islanders' maiden voyage carried volunteers out to Ship Island to clean the beach for the 2007 season. The Skirmettas don't expect to reach pre-Katrina passenger counts this summer. However, I've noticed the beach is dotted with people every day. People are, are ready to get out of doors. I think that We'll do a lot better than we did last year. How big a splash could they make? The Skirmettas are pretty sure doubling last year's passenger total is a real possibility. Captain Pete Skirmetta says that will still put boardings about 20,000 passengers below pre-hurricane levels. But it will give his family some optimism about the high seas adventure they're about to take. In Gulfport, Brad Cassie, WLOX News. Initially, Ship Island excursions will sail every Wednesday through Sunday. Now, once the summer season begins, that's May 19th, the ferry will carry passengers to and from Ship Island seven days a week. And next tonight, a Vietnam War veteran on our Veterans History Project and what he learned from war. 
as the News at 6 continues. For great rates and great service, see State Farm Agent Will Wright in Pascagoula. Now at Mac... Hello? Hey, J.D. Hey, Earl. Mackey Buick Pontiac GMC's having a big sale. I know, bud. I'm trying to shoot the commercial right now. I'll call you right back. We've got... Hello? We got new 07 GMC Sierra regular cabs for $15,495. We've got... Hello? Extended cab, $17,495. Yukon's $29,495. That's Mackey. Yeah, Earl. Tell them Earl sent you. Championship Bull Riders invade the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. It's man against beast. The Bull Revised Resort and Casino is proud to present the Tapita in Mississippi Shootout. March 31st at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum, 8 p.m. The world's rankest bulls versus PRCA World Champions. Justin Elliott, Cody Hancock, BJ Schumacher, and CBR PRCA World Champion Matt Austin. You see them on the Outdoor Channel now. See them up close and personal. Tickets on sale now starting at 15 bucks at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum box office or any Ticketmaster location. The Tapita in Mississippi Shootout, one big night, March 31st. It's half price week at National Surplus Furniture in Ocean Springs. $2,400 leather sofa, love seat, and chair. Now half price, only $1,199 for all three pieces. Contemporary king size bedroom, regularly $2,700. Half price, now only $1,349 for all five pieces. $2,800 leather sofa, love seat, and chair. Now half price for only $1,400, all three pieces. And this beautiful cherry bedroom group, now half price, only $1,450 for the entire five piece group. Financing and delivery available. It's happening right now. The sale of all sales at National Surplus Furniture, Highway 90 Ocean Springs. The deals are always better at the truck and SUV capital of the coast, Bird Allen Pontiac GMC. Get a new 07 GMC Sierra regular cab for $12,995 or a GMC Sierra extended cab for only $17,995. So come in now as you will save thousands and get the lowest interest rates in history. So for your next truck or SUV, it's the truck and SUV capital of the coast, Bird Allen Pontiac GMC in Gulfport. Keesler Federal Credit Union, Chevron, Pascagoula Refinery, and Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College present A Veteran Remembers. Walter Blessy of Biloxi went to Vietnam back in 1966. He says when you get that first mortar round lobbed into your camp, you realize right away how ugly war really is. You also realize that your life can end at any time. Tonight on our Veterans History Project, Vietnam War Veteran, Walter Blessy. Walter Blessy spends most of his time now involved in the effort to rebuild his beautiful beachfront home in Biloxi that was ravaged by Hurricane Katrina. For Blessy, Vietnam is a long ago memory. When he does reflect, though, it's to remember the fine men he served with. War makes everyone hard. You got to get, you just get tough. You get hard because. You know, the first time you lose some, a close associate, you know, it's pretty emotional strain on you. Like the time, Blessy was in a convoy that was attacked. About a dozen men just in front of where he was were all killed. There wasn't any, there weren't any survivors. We had medics, and, uh, but there was no survivors. Walter Blessy went to Vietnam in the early days of the war, 1966. One of his jobs, to assign men to certain missions, Sometimes they came back in body bags. So I don't have any guilt about it. Uh, I had, um, you know, you're given a command and uh, you, you have to allocate your resources and the, you, the toughest part was not to show any favoritism. Plus he says he was a gung-ho Marine who believed in his mission. But he says at some point, our government lost its way in Vietnam. You go in and, and capture a village and then leave and the Viet Cong have it back two days later. The whole posture of the war changed after about two or three years. Back in 1966, Walter Blessy was convinced that victory was achievable in Vietnam. The fact the war did not end that way and 58,000 Americans lost their lives is deeply disturbing. I thought it was... Um, terrible and you know the 58,000 names on the wall was a, uh, it, was a, it was a tough tribute to them when he returned from Vietnam the anti-war stance of some upset him then there was the confrontation at a California airport with what he calls two early stage hippies who spit on blessing 
and I took about two steps and turned around and just gave them both karate chops. And uh, there was a police officer walking by, and he didn't say a word. Walter Blessy eventually retired from the military, but his time in service to his country is something he speaks of even today with a lot of pride. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to have served my country, not only in Vietnam, but as well as on the uh, West German Czechoslovakian border. Walter Blessy, Vietnam veteran. By the way, Walter's brother, Gerald Blessy, the former mayor of Biloxi, also served time in Vietnam. Coming up next tonight, Mike steps back in with more on the warm forecast. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Roxanne Cavatayo with Memorial Behavioral Health for Kids. Parents ask me how they can prepare for their son's teenage years. First, from the time he is a baby, always provide a safe and loving home environment. Allow age-appropriate independence. Encourage him to talk to you when he is upset. It's important to really listen and to validate his feelings. Teach responsibility for his belongings and yours, and teach him the importance of accepting limits. Your investment of time and energy in his early years can prevent small problems from becoming larger problems in the future. If you would like more information about preparing for adolescence or if you're already experiencing these problems, call us at Memorial Behavioral Health for Kids now or anytime at 831-1700. There's always a counselor standing by to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From everyone at Turan Foley Chevrolet Cadillac Buick and Gulfport, we'd like to thank you for making us the number one selling dealer on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And now at Turan Foley, get 0% financing on most everything in stock during Turan Foley Chevrolet Cadillac Buick Spring Sales Event. This means you can save thousands more in finance charges alone on one of the area's best selections at Turan Foley Chevrolet Cadillac Buick. Thank you. At 9 p.m. Monday night, the Rooms to Go 16th Anniversary Celebration will end. This is the last weekend to get hot anniversary specials in every department and choose from two great ways to finance interest-free. First payment January 2009 or make equal monthly payments until March 2011. Four years from now, either plan, there's no interest. Plus, get delivery in days, not months. Once again, the Rooms to Go 16th Anniversary ends at 9 p.m. Monday night. Now, South Mississippi's 24-7 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike Reed. Well, folks, while we're stuck in this dry, pleasant weather pattern, the folks out in the Plain States and the Rocky Mountains have another problem, and that's this massive low pressure system that just isn't going anywhere in a big hurry. So on the northwest side of it, they still have winter with blizzard-like conditions up in Wyoming. And then, of course, on the east side of it, they have all the severe weather and all the tornadoes from Oklahoma right on up through the Plain States. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at some video. We first start in Wisconsin. I'm sorry, this is... Uh, uh, Wyoming, that's where we're at, and you notice, look at this, I mean, they're out there just starting winter all over again, and this is a full-blown blizzard, a lot of heavy snow and a lot of windy conditions, and then we come to the east side of it, and this is video from Oklahoma with this massive tornado on the ground. They say this thing was 600 feet wide. It did go through a town and cause a lot of problems. Unfortunately, they have had some fatalities with these tornadoes out in the Plain States. Now let's come back to South Mississippi, and as we do, we take a look at Mississippi Power Doppler radar. There you go. We just have a few high clouds around, no rain in the forecast, especially through the evening hours. We are looking for that patchy fog to come in later, but other than that, warm by 9 o'clock, temperatures should still be in the low 70s. Hancock Bank Tower Cam shows us some of those high clouds around from the Gulfport view, and then we look at the Back Bay view from the Casino, IP Casino Resort and Spa Tower Cam. <clears throat> and again, a lot of sunshine out there and just some high, thin clouds. Temperature-wise, 71 at Bay St. Louis, downtown Gulfport 71, Go Chase 73. Look at Picky, and they're still at 77 degrees. The winds are out of the southeast, averaging about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, you talk about the cold air. Look at those temperatures coming down from Canada all the way down to Denver. What a shock in Denver. Their temperature today is 33 degrees colder than it was this time yesterday. And you can see up in Wyoming where they have the blizzard conditions. 
they're not doing too well up there either. Meanwhile, the southeast continues to be very warm. Why? Well, this high pressure system and the stagnant air pattern continue across the area. We're actually seeing almost a summer pattern where we're getting a backdoor system come into the Gulf. It's not going to make it all the way down here. We're still waiting for that front to come through here late in the weekend. Now, overnight tonight, inland temperatures in the mid to upper 50s here along the coast, low 60s. By 8 o'clock, temperatures already in the mid 60s under mostly sunny skies. Headed for afternoon highs again in the mid 80s inland, about 80 along the coast. Continued very dry conditions. We have a high tide this evening. Your low tide will be in the morning. The range about a foot. Marine forecast, east to southeast winds 10 to 15 knots seas, 2 to 4 feet. Notice those winds and seas do pick up during the day tomorrow. So as we check out the next seven days, it looks like we're going to be continued mostly dry through the weekend. That rain we see coming in on Sunday should be late. Remember yesterday, that was Saturday, so we keep pushing it forward. Other than that, it looks like the temperatures for the foreseeable future will be at or above normal. So again, it looks like uh, pretty dry conditions. And yeah. of course, the folks out in the Plain States, they're just mm. stuck with that massive storm that keeps causing problems. Yeah, I, I just couldn't believe that blizzard out there. Blizzard in yeah. Wyoming and yeah. a 600 foot wide tornado in Oklahoma. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Right. With Easter now just around the corner, these kids are getting an early start. Pascagoula's Easter Parade is coming up next. Ask for what Nissan knows. Price sells cars. During Nissan's national sales race, buy new 07 Nissan Altimus 19.6 or new 07 Nissan King Cab Titans 18.752. Ask for what Nissan. Front of the 14th Street overpass in Pascagoula. At the Palace Casino Resort, you can get more free slot credits faster than at any other casino on the coast. Just join our Players Club or enjoy our buffet and receive free slot credits. Play and convert your points for more free slot credits. And with return rewards, the points you earn will be worth up to $50 for your next visit. Still want more? Check your mailbox. We're piling them up again. More spins, more wins. The Palace Casino Resort, where you get more for your money. Now decorating your home is easier than ever during the Broyhill Special Savings Event. For a very limited time, you can save 50% on featured beds when you purchase our most popular bedrooms. Take home this queen sleigh bed for only $4.49 when you buy three matching bedroom pieces. Plus, enjoy great savings on beautiful living rooms and entertainment centers for your home. This fantastic Broy Hill sale is going on now at Bayside Furniture and Appliances, the Iberville Boulevard in D'Iberville. Nissan's national sales race is on at Pad Peck Nissan. Hurry, save five grand on every remaining 06 Nissan, 06 Altimus, Maximus, Pathfinders, and 350Z. Five grand off every one. Race to Pad Peck Nissan, I-49 in Gulfport. Here at the Mississippi City United Methodist Church, we enjoy a vital fellowship and a familiar traditional worship service that has sustained us through this recovery. Even in these modest circumstances, we continue to rejoice for the good news of the gospel. We would be honored to have you join us in our ministry to one another in this community. You'll find the heart of Christ in the heart of the community right here at Mississippi City United Methodist Church. New tonight on WLOX News at 10. The Friendship Oak is thriving, but other live oaks haven't fared as well since the storm. We'll take an overall look at the health of the coast's signature trees. It's new tonight on WLOX News at 10. Hundreds of students in Jackson County are probably counting the tons of candy they received at the Easter Parade in Pascagoula today. More than 400 youngsters walked through the heart of Pascagoula collecting candy from store owners and community members. The parade is a yearly event sponsored by the Pascagoula Main Street Association to give students in Jackson County some special treats before Easter, and they got them today, and they had a beautiful day to do it. Thanks for joining us tonight on the News at 6. TV's hottest night, would you hear something like this? Nobody needs to be naked that often. Grey's Anatomy, followed by Thursday's number one new hit, October Road. Why are you here? When it comes to love. Ten years ago, you really blew my world, Nick. I can't allow you to do that again. Coming home can get complicated. I'm gonna bury you, kid. Grey's Anatomy and an all-new October Road. Tonight, starting at 9, 8 central after Ugly Betty, only on ABC.